All right, it has happened. Adobe has killed off Dolly. End of game. Let's go home. It's over. Let's take a look at it. So this morning, Adobe dropped a new Photoshop beta, and what they included was generative fill. And what? so what do we use Dolly for? Dolly is not the greatest AI image generator. Typically, we just go in there to expand our AI images. Uh, we haven't gotten um, nearly enough, and we want to kind of uh, fill out the canvas. Well, Adobe's done it. They kind of took that away. No need, Dolly. You can sit down, go back to wherever you came from, and we don't have to pay for that subscription anymore. Although we do have to pay for the Adobe one. Anyway, let's check this out. So uh, first thing I want to do, uh, I pulled up this image, uh, this owl I, I took in, in Ireland. Uh, and let's see, as you can see, I used Adobe's <laughs> remove. I used this for a, uh, a previous tutorial and removed the, the cage around it. So let's really let this, we're going to let this owl go back. We're, he's going back to the, the woods. We, we can see there's still wood paneling behind him and he's in some kind of human environment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my object select tool. I'm going to go to the cloud and I'm going to select the subject and let that cook for a second because we're doing all this. This is all AI. Okay, now I got that selection. Let's take that and take the select and inverse it. So now we're just selecting the back of it. And right down here, you can see our generative fill. So we're going to click on that. And let's just say a forest. He needs to be free in the woods. So that's our prompt. We're basically putting a prompt in Photoshop. Hit enter. It calculates. Chug, chug, chug. I think it's uh, based, it's, uh, it's Sensei is based it on Adobe stock and, you know, apparently, uh, you know, they have all the clearance, clearance, clearance. <laughs> Look at that. And you're get, you can see over here on the right side, we're given three options. What looks the best? That's pretty cool, but he's on the ground. I kind of like him in, in the air. Look at that. I mean, that kind of, I like number two. We're going to take number two. So, okay, so so now look at that. We've just created this new background for this owl that was in captivity and and now he looks like he's, you know, off off in the in the wild. So, what else can we do? So, let's go to our crop tool and let's pull out our well, let's let's go for it. Let's let's pull out our canvas a little. Say, okay, and now we're going to do another selection and we're going to do another gener generative fill and I want to expand the canvas. So we're going to say owl in forest, you know, um, so now we're taking into the account the, the object, the subject of the owl and the forest and let's see what that does. You know, this is one of those things like we can create like this infinite canvas and just keep keep zooming out and, and, um, you know, have a generative, well, that is interesting. Not quite what I was looking for, but we've got other options. That's a little better. You know, I think, uh, if, if I saw this correctly, I think my selection included a little bit of, you see, there's a little bit of these trees here. So what I want to do is I want to do a reselect. So I did that a little wrong. So the AI was seeing um, these, these little tiny insignificant shadows that I thought were insignificant, and it's adding them to it. So I'm going to add to my mask and try to just mask out those. So now we have this selected and that. And let's say an owl in the forest. Forest. And let's have it regenerate because I want to get rid of those that, that I really don't want another bold subject right there on top of it so let's see what it does i need the jeopardy music going oh is this i guess i gotta hit enter and it's thinking it's thinking it's going up in the cloud you get this warning when you uh launch photoshop and you say you want to try this and uh look at that that's pretty cool oh look at that so it put a tree behind it 
which I, d I don't mind because it also uh, continued the bird nicely. That's nice. Oh, I like that. You know, I would probably remove this dark tree in the back. Let's do that. Let's just say, mm, what if we just say forest? Generate. Should be able to handle that, right? You know, oh, let's see. Let's see what it does. Ah, gave me another branch. I really don't want a branch. Okay, there's another thing we can do. We can just select this and go shift. Oh, could not complete your request because smart. Oh, okay. So let's all, all windows shift E, put everything into a new layer. Shift backspace. Let's do a content aware fill, which is also AI. And bam, it's gone. Beautiful. Look at that. Now we can look at our original. I'm going to deselect. Here's our original. Here's our new image. Looks like we're wildlife photographers out in the wild. Color, color's a little wonky on this, but, uh, you, you know, pretty amazing and, and pretty photorealistic. I'll take that. Beautiful. All right, here's another image that uh, we're going to use uh, our generative... Generative... Jeez, I'm just stumbling over that word today. Not enough coffee. I got an extra large, too. Jesus. Not sponsored yet. Duncan, call me. All right. Okay, we're going to use this in a different way. So you can remove objects from your image with this new generative fill. And so let's put a selection around our trainer. Uh, we were out falconing, and this is my youngest son. And he just loved, loved, you know, calling these birds. And, you know, what a wild time it was. And this is over in Ireland. So what you can do is go to your gener generative fill and not put any prompt in. Just hit enter and let's see what it does. Boom. It removed her and it did an awesome job. Like, are you kidding me with this? That's the first version, second version, third version. They're all outstanding. So you put no prompt in and it'll just try to fill it with, you know, analyzing your photo. The only thing is it did get a little bit weird trying to extend the tail here. I wonder if I could just hit it again and generate and see. I mean, I am really splitting hairs here and making the computer do all the work. And boom, it's gone. Holy cow, are you kidding me? I mean, I don't see any reason for ever paying for Dolly again. This is just, a, you know, outstanding. Uh, talk about expanding your your um, your canvases. Uh, let, oh, let's see what it, you know, things that, that Adobe is saying. It's it's going to generate objects. So, uh, you know, you can, oh, so yeah, we can, we can use this in a different way. We can say, let's, uh, let's select up here and say flock of seagulls, seagulls, not the band. I know I was growing up in the eighties. So this isn't the band with the hair, real flock of seagulls. If I get the other one, I That'll be funny. So now we're adding something to our to our uh, image. You know, same way you would prompt anything else. Oh, those birds are up close. Okay. I definitely generated some seagulls. Flock of seagulls in the distance. That was scary how they come. It's like Alfred Hitchcock. All right. It definitely wants to put these seagulls right up close. All right. That's a little better. I mean, I think what you can do too is, can you do? this and then generate again oh if if this allows me to transform it and then redo it to get the right scale are you kidding me are you kidding me oh whoa that is awesome that's what i wanted that one's weird it's like what do they call that in the olympics tandem or or i don't know <laughs> tandem flying but look at that that's perfect and what i did was i i took the original i scaled it down and i said to regenerate so you can transform your regenerative, regenerative generations and, and it knows what to do. That's amazing. Wow. Okay. Did I, where did I put my, did I close that window? All right. Perfect. So I'm, I'm just going to tell them that that's it. So yeah, there, there we go. We, uh, we've added things, we've extended the canvas and we have added We've changed the background and, you know, all prompting within Photoshop. This is what I've said is coming. Like artists uh, that are complaining that, that AI is going to take 
their work and all this. Like they, they're not seeing the bigger, bigger picture where, you know, AI is going to touch every tool we use inside of our applications, everything. If you've been painting in Photoshop for years and years and years, you know, it's going, where it's going is going to be incredible. There's going to be times where you're going to be able to create characters just by doing the gesture lines. This is the direction we're going. It's, it's going to touch every tool within these applications. And, you know, it's going to be Photoshop. It's going to be Premiere. It's going to be Illustrator, all of them. And we're going to create amazing work like this. I just cannot believe it. It's, it's perfect. Hey, thanks for watching this video on the new tools in Photoshop and how uh, Adobe is leveraging AI. And my God, the everything is just getting so cool. The tools are just getting amazing. It's so exciting to see, um, you know, how productive we're going to be and how creative we're going to be with these tools. You know, it's, it's not about leaning on the AI to take away our creativity. It's about leaning on AI to be more creative. That's what we're looking for. If you enjoyed this uh, video, please do me a favor and like it and subscribe to my channel. Really appreciate that. And comment below. Hey, let's talk about this stuff. I mean, come on. Do you, do you think Dolly is finished? I don't see any reason for using it anymore. <laughs> I just, I don't. Of course, you do have to have an Adobe subscription to use this product and it does go to their servers. So, you know, keep it up. Keep it on the up and up, guys. All right. Till next time.